Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a really good Christmas and a really good New Year. Um, my name is Sasha. I am um, a crafter. And if you've never seen my channel before, then welcome. If you've been on my channel before, then thank you for coming back. Um, I hope you can hear this alright. Um, I am trying new lighting, trying new camera, um, just seeing if I can get anything better at a new angle as well. So. If my head gets in the shot, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. Um, this video uh, today is going to be all about an AliExpress haul. Um, so a lot of you have heard of AliExpress. It's a really cheap uh, online shop in China. Kind of similar to Amazon. You can get loads of different shops in there. Um, and this one particular shop that is my favourite is Lena Crafts. Um, I absolutely love her stuff. So on AliExpress you can get um, a lot of copyright um, infringement. You can get a lot of um, a lot of knockoff kind of brands. Um, but I really like Alina Crafts because or Alina Crafts or Alina. I have no idea how to say it um, because she doesn't do that. Um, so all hers are either purchased from other people, I believe, or. Um, she has some designers that design for her and um, and basically I've been making a lot with her dyes because I absolutely love them. They're cheap, really great quality, um, they're absolutely fabulous. So I've been making a lot of things with them. A lot of my tags have been made with her um, her tag dyes, which I'll find at some point. I have no idea where they are right now. Um, and she asked me to be on her design team. So I am really, really honoured. There's no commitment. I don't have to... Um, be solely exclusive to her so I can make whatever I like. Um, I love all her stuff anyway so I'm really pleased to be getting a lot of her things so each month she's going to send me some dyes um, and I just have to create and craft with them and share with you um, which I'm more than happy to do because I really love her stuff so um, I'm going to get started and show you what she sent me and then in the next few days you're going to start to see things pop up that I'm making with them. And I will provide links for everything below in the description box. And you just click them and you can go over and check them out. Um, so the first thing I've got is this amazing set of dies. So these are really cute. They're little tag dies. Um, so I cut the hole for you. And then you get these little options of um, of little end, what are they called? Like decorative end bits so you can stick them on. So I'll cut those out and show you what they look like at some point. Um, then I've got these really cute little puppies. I don't know if my camera's focusing, let's just put it down. They're adorable. So they have these three little puppies, and I've got some ideas already of what I'm going to make with them, or try to make with them. So it doesn't cut this line here, it just cuts the top, so it means you can add it to the tops of various things. Um, so yeah, those are very cute. And then I've got these dogs here, um, and they're really sweet as well. And they're quite big, and there's a lot of them. There are six dogs in total, so that's going to be quite fun to play with. Um, they don't cut out eyes or ears or anything like that. It's just, sorry the glare, <laughs> it's just literally the shape of the dog. But um, it's quite good because you could draw your own on if you want. So they're really sweet. And then I love these, I can't wait to try these out. They're two edges with stars on them, so I thought they would be quite beautiful to make either New Year's Eve cards, Christmas cards... You know, it's January 1st today, so if you want to get a head start on your Christmas cards, you get. Um, but these would be really pretty in like a scrapbook as well. If you had like a, a circular picture, um, you could just stick these around the, the sides. I thought that would be really sweet. And then this one is really cool. So this is hearts all the way around. And what it does, you'll see this when I cut it out and show you but it cuts out this whole edge and leaves a circle in the middle. So it'd be quite sweet for a photo frame. You can make a little frame and stick it on the wall. Um, and then it's got these little cute little hearts. Uh, and I was thinking I might try and see if I can make some butterflies out of those. It could go horribly wrong, but we'll see. Um, and then there's this border one. So if you can see all the middle ones, these ones, this one, and these ones all come out. You just cut them out and then the rest is one big shape. So, I mean, it's quite large as well, if you see my hand quite large <laughs> and then check these out there are four frames so these are frames that are made with hearts so how cool is that 
And then you've got your hearts in the center, which is quite similar to the last ones, to these ones as well. Sorry, the glare. Um, so this will be really fun. You can make some really pretty frames, um, some cards with that on the edge, be quite sweet. Uh, and then this is one of my favorite ones. I love bow dies. And this is a big bow. Um, it's quite long, you can see. Um, and it's got the little tails, so you can either do the tails out that way, or you can do the tails out that way. Um, but it's got like lace around the side, and it's also got the stitched edging on it, so it's going to be absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to try that out and make some stuff. I think that'll be really good on boxes and gifts and things. Right, best for last. Check out these dies. They are enormous. I don't know if you can see them all. Let me try and get them all in the frame. And I just dropped the numbers on the ground. So you get the whole alphabet. They're huge. They've got little decorative dots in them. They are stunning. I mean, if you see my thumb, the A is about the size of my thumb. So it's quite big. So right here comes my head. Sorry, I had to pick up the numbers off the floor. Um, so here are the numbers. They match. Oops, upside down. Um, and at first I was thinking, what on earth? Where's the rest of the alphabet? Because I pulled this out first. But these are all for when you have... Um, Oh, I don't know, like the abbreviations. So if you have your three, you can do third. Um, and then if you have your four, you can do fourth, um, second, first. Um, so that's quite sweet. Just really thought of everything with this one. But there's those two sets there, and they're really reasonably priced. They're really good value for money, and they are massive. So I will show you some things that I can make with those um, at some point, hopefully, this week. Now, my favourite. These, I was so excited about. I love letters. I don't use them that often, but oh my goodness, I do love really big letters and really nice letters with pretty letters. And these tick all the boxes and check out how huge they are. They are massive and they are stunning and they're upside down again, I think. <laughs> there we go. So A's there. You get the full alphabet. The rest are on the back side here. They're so big. She's had to double up this packaging. Um, and she's listed them as 26, but in reality, these are all doubled. So if you can see, I'm going to zoom in. We'll see how this goes. Look at my little remote control. How fun is that? Here we go. Zooming in. So if you can see on like the H, 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 I don't know. Um, you've got your outside border and this just snips out. The inside just snips out. So you could do a solid image in the back. And then you could cut out, with using both of them, you could die cut out a really cute um, top layer. So you could get a double layered effect. So in reality, you're getting more like 52 dies rather than, however many I said, 26. <laughs> I should know this. Um, it has really good value for money. I think it's about 13 pounds, something like that. I'm in the UK, so um, I work with pounds. Um, but yeah, so it is insanely good value for money. If you think about all the other companies that sell big letters, like this is cheap. Cheap as chips, as a lot of people would say here. And you get the matching numbers. I'll zoom you out so you can see them. There we go. So it's the exact same as the last ones. You've got your matching numbers. You've got the abbreviations at the bottom. And these all come apart. The numbers don't, but these ones all come apart just like the letters. Um, so how gorgeous would that be for some birthday cards? Oh, look, my camera's flipped the numbers around. So you get them and they're backwards. These are all backwards. But for whatever reason, I think you're going to view them the correct way because I'm looking at my screen and these all look perfectly normal. They do come backwards because obviously when you cut them out, you want them to be the right way around. So when they cut, when you run it through your machine, and die cut them, they come out that way. But like these, I mean, I am so excited about these because they're so huge. Let me just try and pull them out here. Then you don't get the glare. Look at how amazing they are. And so, oh, they're all stuck together. So when you get them, you just get a pair of wire cutters. I just found some on Amazon for really cheap. Here we are. Here's my Amazon ones that I got for really cheap. They came as a pack of two. I don't need to, but then having so that, oh, I lose things like you wouldn't believe. So these are called electrical wire snips. And that's all you gotta do. You're just gonna pop them on there. 
and just ping them out and then you can ping out the middle bit as well and these are great because um, you can get right into little narrow spaces I won't be able to do it now because I'm on camera but um, they just go up in there I'd have to get even more pinpoint oh no wait you do what we could do we just pop them out like that <laughs> so there we go there's the other so that's what I mean by the double layer how awesome I cannot wait so over the next few days you have to excuse me though because my kids aren't in school yet they don't go back to the 9th of January it's the 1st of January today but uh, over the next few days I'm hopefully going to steal some time in my office and I'm going to get crafting and I'm going to show you what you can make with a bunch of these um, and I will put all the links as I said in the description box below um, so you can pop over to Lena's store and purchase anything your heart desires but she has got some amazing stuff on there and I can't wait to show you what we can make with all this so thank you for coming and joining me today um, and I look forward to seeing you again bye